Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey bookmarks and bookworms, welcome back to the channel and today is a lovely video where I get to celebrate and be thankful for and give shout outs to those booktubers that are favourites of mine and who knows, maybe they're favourites of yours also. For a little bit of structure in this video, I've broken these booktubers down into four different categories. The first category is the originals that originally got me into booktube. The second category are my instant clicks, the videos that I will automatically click on by that person. The third category is the booktuber who inspired me to become a booktuber. And there is of course only one person in that category. And the fourth and final category is for those booktubers that I have found as a result of starting booktube back in January. So starting at the very beginning, a very good place to start. And I have to start by mentioning the one and only Eric Carl Anderson. It was, I'm pretty sure, his video that I originally watched towards the end of 2019 when he does his the best books of the year videos um, and I found him through that I believe but when you inevitably are watching YouTube you watch more than one video and so in the suggested videos downside was of course people like Simon Savage people like Jen Campbell and people like Lauren from Lauren in the Books so those four are my originals who I have watched since 2019 on a consistent basis for Jen, I love her videos focusing on translated fiction particularly. She follows the International Booker Prize and has done for several years now where she's read the entire long list and does a whole vlog on that. And that's probably one of my favourite videos that Jen makes every year. I also really love Jen's vlog content where she shows us her walks that she goes on and her cooking. Um, and just she has like brilliant music and it's just so calming. And vlogs are some of the best content, um, I think on booktube even though it's not necessarily always talking about the books i think intermingling that kind of lifestyle with the books it's just so relaxing for the viewer and so yeah th those are my two when jen talks about translated books and when jen does vlogs i absolutely love them going on to simon savage uh, i love him again for the vlogs that he does he's done some great ones where he's done a, a weekly vlog or he's gone away for the weekend to uh, places in Wales or by the sea and uh, he takes us along with him and uh, he just does the best vlogs. I remember he did a Christmassy vlog where he was kind of like, I think it was last year when he was travelling around England and there was just Christmas trees popping up in his Airbnbs. For Simon Savage, I just think it would be so hard to choose one particular style of video from him that I absolutely love because he does everything and I love everything by him. So his hauls, his wrap-ups, his TBRs, his vlogs. I mean, I don't think the man can do any wrong, really. And then also Lauren from Lauren and the Books. My favourite content of Lauren's is that she does brilliant wrap-ups. She reads very, very differently to me, so it's always nice to see what books are on her radar. And there is a little bit of crossover when it comes to the kind of, I guess, mystery crime books, and there's some literary crossover. But really, she's a person who I am drawn into by the just immense amount of love I feel she has for her subscribers, her her personality, the fact that she always comes onto camera with a massive smile on her face going hello and I just I just immediately feel better and so Lauren is kind of um, a, a positivity boost, an energy boost and just somebody who is consistent not only in her content but also in making me smile which is obviously a massive part of booktube is entertainment and enjoyment and making people feel good. Then I'm going to move on to my instant clicks. So my instant clicks are Mercy, Scott, Hannah, Jalen and Sunbeams Jess. These are the five people that when they upload a video I'm there. Normally they are uh, wrap-ups although Scott does a little bit of um, everything um, but Sunbeams Jess it is I believe predominantly wrap-ups although she does do other um, bookish videos. The way Jess speaks about books is just total goals for me. People have written comments for me on my videos saying that they find me so eloquent when I talk about books but Jess is the person that I when I think of eloquence I think of Jess so if I trying if I'm trying to aim at somebody to try and emulate in just their their way of speaking and just the richness of their vocabulary it would be Jess and then Hannah I don't think I get more recommendations from anybody more than I get from Hannah so I put not necessarily every book that Hannah mentions on her books on my radar videos but 
a large majority of the books on her books on my radar videos end up on my TBR uh, from her wrap ups and her hauls um, and also she does do vlog content as well so just as a whole around the board on so many different levels I just love watching Hannah's videos and uh, yeah I just feel like if I get book recommendations as many as I do from Hannah as from everyone else I would just be just completely swamped with book recommendations. Where mine and Hannah's reading taste definitely overlaps is around things like uh, translated fiction, literary fiction, um, some kind of crime f uh, fiction. She does do non-fiction certainly more heavily than I do non-fiction so that would be something to go and check Hannah out for if you're a non-fiction person. And then Jalen who runs the bar in the bookcase, he is fantastic. He does a series of podcasts where he interviews an author and that is the majority I would say now of his channel. But before that, since I've been following him for at least at least two years now, if not more, he was making uh, and still does make like his, his wrap ups just there kind of maybe less less often. So he'll do like a wrap up maybe every three months sort of thing every couple of months and he just puts all the books in and it's like a nice chunky wrap up of maybe uh 45 ish minutes type of thing very similar to what sunbeams jess does she does um either a month of books at a time or several months of books at a time and then films like an hour long wrap up which is wonderful i get my i get my cup of tea ready for both hannah and Jalen's fairly lengthy wrap-ups and I just just listen to them both speak about books because they are both so eloquent and read such interesting books and give me plenty of inspiration to go off and find new books. That takes me to Mercy and again actually I could say about Mercy too that she just speaks so well about books. I guess the instant click people, now that I think about it, all of them have in common this eloquence around books. I guess the booktuber that I would aspire to be is kind of an amalgamation of them because of the, the interesting book choices that they, they pick, the way they can speak about it, the way they analyse the books and really unpack them, break them down, understand why they liked them, why they didn't like them. And they're not just telling me what the book is about. And I feel that's that can be a trap for booktube. <laughs> and so I really like that more analytical style of booktube. And I try and do that on my channel uh, to varying degrees of success but I do try. Yeah Mercy is another one that just any video she puts out whether it's the title whether it's the thumbnail like I just know it's going to be great like, it's just they're just so captivating so the titles especially Mercy's titles they are very like as soon as I see them it's like yep click. <laughs> Mercy does brilliant anticipated releases videos and often I'm kind of slightly further behind and so when when I know there's a video from Mercedes about anticipated releases I know I'm just going to get just a ton of book recommendations from that video. So Mercy's Bookish Musings or Mercedes is an instant click for sure. Any video she posts I'll be there. <laughs> and lastly in this instant clicks section is of course Scott from Gunfather Fiction and Plot. I just love Scott again he's a, his enthusiasm for the books. He does such a wide variety of videos from standalone book reviews to wrap-ups to kind of video essays on different books like he did one on Moby Dick. The amount of research and time and effort that that man puts into his videos I I can't even imagine. Like I don't think I spend even half that on a video. Scott's videos are just so bingeable from the content to just how funny he is. He has some great one-liners in there that get me cackling and so yeah I think Scott along with so many booktubers on this list just make me smile when I'm watching their videos and I think that is the key to success. Okay so next we are on to the booktubers that I have found as a result of starting booktube in January. So first up my lovely friend Ben. From Ben Reads Good. Ben started his channel maybe two months before mine and uh, we, we often got paired together when there was a booktuber doing shout outs. It was often me followed by Ben or Ben followed by me and so yeah we kind of got um, put together in that sense which I mean it was great for me because the quality of Ben's videos was like here and the quality of my videos were like here um, and so yeah I must admit it was like oh, okay great okay but nobody expects the same uh, quality of content there. <laughs> Me just talking about, you know, doing ridiculous reaction videos to various different book prizes. And then Ben, who's got like, you know, beautiful lighting, beautiful script, 
beautiful book reviews. Ben is a great support of mine and actually to be fair I think the majority of the people that I have mentioned so far in this video have supported me in some way. Either they are um, DMing me or they are leaving comments on my videos um, so or they've given me shout out like when Lauren from Lauren and the Books gave me a shout out on one of her videos, when Scott from Gunpowder Fiction and Plot gave me a shout out on one of his videos, like I just just these people that I've been watching for years and the fact that they even know my name and have watched a video is just was just beyond belief for me but I would say Ben is particularly very very supportive and it's just wonderful so yeah I really really like Ben and any video he put, puts out I'll just you know think it's brilliant and amazing and watch it <laughs> so, and then the second person well I guess kind of there's three people all together that I kind of found it around the same time because they were running the women's prize plod along uh, and to speak on one of their episodes of that show so um for me this was gem from gem of books alice from alice in the giant bookshelf and charlie from charlie book reads that's how i found those three ladies i had a wonderful wonderful experience with women's prize last year from i think my best performing video happened during that season I think that yeah being part of more of a community aspect actually being on the women's prize plot along show and uh, being kind of a speaker and a voice in that at that time for that prize was uh, really very different for me and very fun so I, I thoroughly enjoyed that that time of booktube and those three women are very much connected to that for me because those are the ones that I was discussing it with not only on the plot along but also in all of each other's different videos on the women's prize and so it really built up that foundation for me of community on booktube then i really wanted to talk about words of clover Aoife. um she is just fantastic i love her videos she's so calming and her voice is amazing she's irish so she has this beautiful irish accent and whilst we don't really share too much in common with our literary tastes on the surface i have taken so many book recommendations from her over this year and whenever she posts a video i i just watch it and then lastly in this category i do actually want to mention the disco king alex he is absolutely hilarious I don't think anybody makes me laugh on booktube as much as him he says it how it is and it's great in that sense because there's a lot of there's a lot of i think pussyfooting around and sometimes kind of bullshit like pandering to bullshit on youtube and he just cuts straight through that gets straight to the heart of it and then just goes yeah no this is bollocks <laughs> and i just love it especially around things like booker when he's posting um solo reviews for each of the books on the booker and he's just for the most part slating them like he does actually like some of the books on the booker this year but for the most part he's saying some things that he's just that is so in line with what i really want to be saying about these books for those moments where everybody else seems to be going oh yeah this book is kind of great for this 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 and this reason it's like mm, do you really think it's that great because i don't know and um yeah alex then goes yeah this is shit and then we'll tell you why it's shit and it, it's all very again eloquent but in a in a different way to the other guys in that he is he is there for the, the sarcasm and the wit and the humor and it's just it all works it all works perfectly so yeah I, I think Alex is a great one and then lastly that takes me to the final category which is the person that made me want to start booktube and this is GK Reads Grace so Grace left YouTube September last year and I started booktube January uh, so three months later I had watched Grace for years she was one of the people who I would watch religiously throughout lockdown and I just loved her videos and to this day the way that she titled videos and the way she kind of did her thumbnails all of those sorts of things I still look at and think right okay so how am I gonna when it comes to say making a thumbnail like how am I gonna put the things on screen and where would I put the text and what font and and kind of what needs to be on the thumbnail sort of thing and so she yeah she's just her her personality um, again she was funny uh, she did vlogs and also uh, wrap-ups and more kind of sit down book reviews um, but the vlogs especially I really liked yeah I absolutely miss her still to this day from you know her not being on booktube and so i kind of feel like maybe subconsciously 
when she left booktube that was me wanting to kind of fill that and to to make the videos i guess um not necessarily that she would have made but to yeah i guess because i wasn't watching her content i was going to make my own content instead if that makes sense so not not make grace's content make my content because i don't because you know i'm following the things that that really appeal to me like the prizes but certainly grace's warmth and personality and she was just she was very inspirational just all round you guys subscribe to me it is as a result of grace leaving booktube that i felt like i wanted to create my own content putting back into the same realm of the internet that i had got so much out of so whether it's grace or whether it's any of the booktubers that i've mentioned they all bring as i'm sure you know yourselves in terms of how booktubers feature in your life but they all bring a certain amount of happiness and community and feeling like you're not that this kind of reading is not solitary because even though it's an activity that we do by ourselves there are people that we're then going to go and discuss everything with on the internet and uh, to become one of those and not be one of the people watching one of the people actually creating um, this year has been really really special and i have loved it so um, thank you very much to you guys for for being here and for watching and for subscribing to this channel it really does mean a lot on that note thank you very much for watching thank you very much to the booktubers <laughs> and knowingly i guess participated in this week's video my tip jar is always linked down below my membership is always linked down below uh, you can get two extra videos every month from me uh, clicking the link in the description and you can also sign up for my book club which is also linked in the description below so until next time i shall see you bye guys have a nice week